see me okay? It is 8 o'clock, just got 8 o'clock. I am on the M40 and I'm heading to, let me turn this radio down a bit. Uh, I'm heading to Oxford. Got tuition in the morning. Always like to get there before the tuition's the night before. I've been mooching around tonight, all night pretty much before I get settled, no doubt, unless I find them pretty quick. I was down last week, didn't do any filming. Had two tuitions back to back, some lot of hard work. Uh, so, yeah, as you can appreciate, and then I've got to be spending all my time on the lads, really, as opposed to just messing around filming like Mr. Bean. Bean's holiday. <laughs> Someone made that comment, I thought it was quite funny. You're like Mr. Bean on the holiday. <laughs> right, gonna get down there, hopefully in the next hour or so, probably about half nine. Uh, and that's it, gonna go for a mitch. If we can find some fish, put one on the bank for in the morning. But if not, I might be checking in a little bit later on, which is anyway, let you know what I'm getting up to. We're at the pond. Don't think you're gonna be able to see it. But it is warm and it's quite calm. So I can hear everything. So I've got plenty of time now to have a good mooch about. Come down to the point swim, which is right at the end. It's got a mega view all the way up the pond. People might think, why do you need a view in the dark? It's quite bright tonight. If I hear anything, I'm going to sort of see anything, um, unless it's right up the other end. This is where I saw them last week when I, when I left. This is where they were on the last morning. So, with it being a good view as well, it seemed a good place to start. So, I was just looking at a rat. They don't have many rats down here, so. Especially now anyway, now we've got Noodle on the case. The old northern cat. Hard as nails. But yeah, it's gotta be mooching around for a couple of hours. No doubt. Um, well, as long as it takes really. Till I get tired. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to hear something in the next couple of hours. I'll fill you in on what I'm up to. <laughs> Come on, look off me. Hurry up. First light. <sighs> Been up about ten minutes now. Slapped under stars, as you do. Got the rods out in here last night. Definitely heard one a bit further that side. And then five o'clock this morning, one absolutely rattled out. It was like 4.56. I think, because I checked my phone, one rattled out in front of you, slightly right, exactly where that bird just went down there, actually there then. Are you alright? <laughs> doing it, doing it. Yeah, there. I don't know if you can see this, I haven't got my polarizer photo. Down here to the right. Right, we are stalking. And a big group of fish just through these trees. He's on it. Got a choddy in there because we don't know it's down there, it was all cloudy. So we just whacked a choddy in there, nice and stealthy. Like there's a yeah, stick that alarm on, mate. Then come down here, turn it up. And yeah, we've got um, all the fish on the surface out here as well. Which I've seen come right in the edge down here. No fish sat here. I can see that when they try the wind over it. Doesn't help that it's quite dull. Just follow it down, I'll keep going at it further than that, swing it further. Where I'll let go. That's it, leave it there. There she is there. Oh, that child is right next to her. Oh, there's a fish just coming there. 
Look at him there already. Oh, you see it. Hey, manual focus this. Um, wait there, mate. Don't do anything because um, got a fish feeding right next to you. Oh, he's interested in that bag. Oh. Definitely patrolling this mile, isn't he? Yeah. Do you see the scat silk on the side of it? What a day. Oh, been mental today. Got loads covered, but yeah, also the fish have woke up 100%. Down here last week, they definitely woke up down the other end on that wind, but everything was ziggy. Actively seeing fish feeding today, hence why I'm in this swim. There's a fish called single scale that I've never had out of here, I've always wanted it, and it was feeding down this margin. Literally, all I've done is waded a rig down there, a noodle, Little walk bait, couple of uh, freebies around it, nothing major, just little chops and that. And uh, yeah, you could see the little hole that had been rooting in. There was loads of fish there at one point, but single just kept coming back and having a little root. Um, some just ghosting over it. It was uh, yeah, it was pretty wary. Tried having a little go from earlier, my tuition did. But yeah, sort of called it a day and got him settled a bit to my right, sort of where all the fish have now ventured off to. So he's got rods out the pond there. Um, and this isn't me trying to sort of dive on single and not let him have a go. <laughs> this is, um, yeah. where am I? Hello. Yeah, this is me um, just dropping in here because he wants to do some sort of out in the pond stuff because um, he's used to doing bits of stalking and that. So he wanted to do the spot finding and getting that casting technique right and baiting up accurately. So fair play to him. And I've only lowered the one single rod. I'm going to sleep under the stars again, as I do. Uh, but it has just started raining. I'm not going to put the, the brolly up just yet. I think it's just a shower. We'll see. Indian has been rang. Yee! Oh, there you go. Take that off. Check me out. I was going to lower a rig down in this corner as well, but I've just gone for the one. I'm just thinking single scale, 42s or something. I'll take that. Three foot of water in uh, March, freezing cold. Middle of the night. Have I got a chance? Probably not. Stranger things have happened though, stranger things have definitely happened. Yeah, I found loads of fish today. I haven't got loads on camera, I tried to get bits. To be fair, I got the best stuff. Probably on my story, on Instagram, because mm, I'm like an Insta whore. Um, yeah, so, you guys got to miss out. But if you did watch my Insta, you'd have seen it today. Very, very active, these fish, and they're eating. Last night, didn't really go to pond. Obviously, uh, lowered that rig down on the edge. It was in too shallow water. I've only gone and got up the tree this morning and I've trashed that ledge further down where we put Ashley's, uh, that's the tuition by the way. Shut up! Yeah, so, before I was rudely interrupted, I, um, yeah, where we put his solid bag, I've trashed it like it's a good sort of foot or so square. Bit of a uh, weed and sort of silt just, just gone down to the gravel. 100% the fish have been in there last night. So tonight I'm going to reapply. Sorry, I'm just seeing all the fizzing out here. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to reapply. I'm going to go further down that wedge. And then I've also seen fish ripping up along the far margin over there. Uh, where is it? Yeah, over here. Uh, just about sort of here. Between these two sets of reeds all along there. But that's a no fishing bank, so I'm going to washing line over there. I've just been around there and it's cloudy as anything, all murked up. So, definitely fish ripping up over there as well. I saw one, I saw a little bit of fizz in and then I saw one stick its head out once, right out. I thought that looked like it's flanked. And uh, yeah, I went around there and bang, there they were. So yeah, I think that's the pond for tonight. But obviously, we're going to do, do some more out in the pond fishing. Out in the pond. Oh, I went a bit southern then. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to do some in the edge stuff and uh, show him how it's done, hopefully. But yeah, everything was just real ziggy this morning, real ziggy shows. There's flies literally everywhere. Seeing backs on the surface, like just all the time. Like, must see groups of 15, 20, 30 fish. Backs on the surface at first light. You know what they're after. They want them zigs, but obviously, no zigs at wind chill. Firm on about in that margin where that one's just bounced out. As you can see, oh, and again, there we got him on the camera. Oh, current. And just going underneath that reed, flying in the water. Just on the left hand side of that reed that's way in the water. See him. He's in. First bite of the year from Lynch. Hopefully he stays on. Get in there, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not long moved in here, in the life boy now. Third swim, three nights. Just whack three singles out and jobs are good, really. Not, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Bring that tail up a touch if you can, bud. Happy? Tail up just a touch, but that's it. You won't get up. Get yourself up then. No, you're up then, aren't you? Eggy lid! Bruise up. Noodles got his. <laughs> What's this? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Had a fish yesterday. Woo! <laughs> it's the first one out of Christchurch all year. It's like, what's it now? 21st of March. So, yeah, to catch the first fish of the year, it's always a little bit of an achievement, I think, in my mind. They are very sneaky. 
But yeah, I'm sure that'll be the first of many now. Not for me, I just mean in general. Usually it just takes one and then over the next few days I'm sure it'll start creeping out. I didn't really get a chance to um, say what I did. This is my third night under the stars. Third night, third swim. Uh, yeah, I started in the plate, which is next door, and then went down into the corner after seeing single scale, a big old mirror ripping up in the edge there. My tuition did have a goal for it. Then that evening, I ended up wearing a rod on there for the night. But yeah, nothing happened that, that night. Um, and yeah, and then I saw fish showing down here yesterday day. Um, Ashley, what I was on tuition, he was doing a bit of stalking just down this margin. So I said, right, I'm going to grab my gear quick at the end, swim down there. Grabbed it, come down here, pinged them out. Is that a fish? No, bird, standard. But yeah, um, yeah, I pinged them out, three singles. And off one went, literally, real quick. I didn't weigh the fish, I'd say it's a uh, mid to upper 20. It was a fish I've had before, so I didn't want to put it under too much stress, you know, a couple of picks. And off she went, but yeah, first one of the year, buzzing. Always chance of one this morning, but I did hear a fish to the right, I so maybe they've pushed that way. It has dropped off in temp, full moon last night, but it's gone clear sky, so. And a little bit colder. As Noodle, I'll probably tell you. <laughs> right, I'll be wrapping up today. Oh. Oh, God. Oi, oi! Session completed. Um, that was a good week, to be fair. Found loads of fish. Uh, obviously, on tuition with, uh, with the lad there. Uh, Ashley is a really nice lad, uh, 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 definitely someone else uh, who's going to go forward in his angling without a doubt. You know, uh, the lads that I generally get are all good capable anglers already, sort of my bread and butter really, because you can just sort of try and step them up that level. Um, then mainly sort of the watercraft element, you know, locating the fish and then sort of applying the right method to catch them. But yeah, long story short, really good tuition. Uh, definitely a lot worn. It's definitely not about the catching. I know I've said it before, but the lads all walk away with like a wealth of knowledge, I'd say, without blowing my trumpet too much. Uh, but yeah, and they all go forward in the angling, you know, and this time of year you can't be asking for massive numbers of fish or any fish on the bank, especially on a place like Winchill. But they've got the whole year to put it into practice, whereas someone who's done one with me, say in November, he's got all winter to almost sit about waiting for the fish to wake up. I'm not saying all wakes shut up, but generally everyone's got to be sort of sat in the, in the hole in the winter. So yeah, he's definitely going to have a good spring, I can no doubt about it. I can tell he's on it, he's up the trees, he's watching the fish, he's, he, he's taking everything in that I'm telling him. And uh, yeah, he was buzzing. Yeah, the job's a good one. Another tuition done, and I'm now heading to Bristol. So from Oxford to Bristol, I've got a meeting in Bristol, and then I've got a set off later from Bristol back to Crew, and then I've got work tomorrow, 12 hour shift all day, and then I'll be travelling down to Reading uh, after work tomorrow. So I'm going to get probably down to the lake for about 10, 11 o'clock, chucking a couple of rods out for the night, and then I'm going to wind in in the morning Saturday. On winded story, you know. I'm gonna wind in, <laughs> gonna wind in Saturday in the morning, head over to Farnborough to the big one show where I'm gonna be there all day, the big one on the sticky stand, well, sticky and thinking angler stand. And then, yeah, I'll be leaving there in the evening because I've got a tuition on the Sunday. Uh, so I'm gonna leave Farnborough and head over to Oxford Saturday night, and then, yeah, tuitions from then on. Uh, I've got, yeah, tuitions all week, so long old week ahead. As soon as that's done, as soon as I've finished them tuitions next week, it is off to Dinton. I am literally going to get stuck right in that place. I'm hoping I'm going to get some mega stuff for you guys to all see. Uh, my mad ventures, whatever I get up to. Uh, I'm really buzzing, excited for that. Really excited. Uh, yeah, white swan I'm going. So, watch this space. 
but I uh, I might. What have I got to do? Yeah, I've got. So I've got tuitions next week. I might be able to get some stuff on camera and that for another vlog. If not, the next one you're gonna see is me on Dinton. Aggie lad. <laughs>